Research indicates that color is attention-grabbing and learning-enhancing when it is structured to have association value. In the spring of 2000, Jane Schaefer introduced color coding into her writing program. We color code the paragraph and the essay. For decades, research has shown that color can directly influence attention or motivation in students. For this reason, Jane created a color coding strategy to emphasize the central learning elements of an academic body paragraph and essay. She chose blue, red, green, and black for several reasons. First, they were the easiest and most cost-effective colors for teachers to buy, although green can sometimes be somewhat challenging. Secondly, they were bright and distinct, making the association between each color and its meaning more easily understood. But what if you have a student who has color vision impairment, a not-so-unusual trait in many people? This is a situation in which a student or teacher is unable to discern color. It is also known as color blindness. Once you discover those students in your classroom, or if you have this challenge as well, one way to solve this problem is to label each pen with its color, blue, red, green, or black. Here's an interesting story. I met a man who had CVI, color vision impairment, and when I told him that we labeled the pens with the colors, he told me that when he knows that the color is supposed to be blue, for example, his brain registers blue and the color blue actually appears. I thought that was an amazing discovery. Another way we help students solve this problem is to have them draw symbols in front of each sentence. For the topic sentence, we draw a star. The star is our symbol for topic sentence, and we ask our students with CVI to either use a labeled pen or draw a star in front of their topic sentence, or both. For the concrete detail, students create a red label for their pens or draw a rectangle that looks similar to a concrete block. The concrete block is stable, sturdy, solid, tangible, like evidence. For the commentary, students create a green label for their pens or draw a circle in front of their CM sentences. We chose a circle because it symbolizes wholeness and completeness of thought. And for the concluding sentence, students will use their blue pen again. I know you were about to pick up your black pen. No, we bookend the body paragraph with blue. For the CS, the symbol is a star plus an exclamation point. It reflects the topic sentence, hence the star, but it also has impact, hence the exclamation point. For the body paragraph, we use red, blue, and green. Black is used for the introduction and thesis, the conclusion, and lead-ins for embedded quotations. For argumentation, we use black for the concession, the counter-argument, and the refutation. Color is an essential component of the Jane Schaefer writing program, and our students call the pens magical pens. You want to have a pen management system in place because you don't want to be chasing pens or students around before and after class. Too exhausting. The challenges are minimal if managed well, and the rewards are well worth it. Color coding is essential when teaching students the thinking process of writing. Teachers report to us that their students started calling them those magical pens because the color associated with the skill helps their thought process.